Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So, the long-awaited Irby Defense uh, Force has made its way to to the silver screen here. So this is our Urban Mech Defense Force. Um, and basically this mission, I didn't realize these guys were spawning over here. So this is a two skull defend base mission. And uh, we're defending from Eastern Warlord forces. This is our main command and control base. So we've set up these guys here in the base um, uh, to um, at least defend it from you know potential attack and it looks like these guys have made their way through our main lines and are attacking our main command and control base we've got some engineer units making our way back here to uh, get the uh, main turrets online um, but yeah I'm gonna take you through a quick uh, look at what the Lance looks like so when I started um, actually we'll start moving while we're talking here when I started uh, this um, Urban Mech Lance, the actual one of the mechs that I started with is actually gone. It was an R60. It got destroyed. Uh, it was a, had a, a, um, a uh, AC-10. And the second one was this one here, which was an R59 mech, which had a Mortar 8 on it. Now, I've since picked up a couple of other Urban Mechs, which we have in the battle here. Uh, they're both, sorry, they're R59s. Sorry, these are all R R59s. And um, we picked up a couple more R59s. Um, I had to get a couple mortars from the other stuff that we had picked up and uh, I put on it basically whatever I could get uh, basically making these work as best as possible and I also yeah, picked I up um, uh, an R8Q which is basically an energy version I had a few advanced weapons on it um, but right now it's just got a PPC Fion, uh, and Fion mode and a pair of uh, medium lasers plus some bolt-on uh, rockets and a mine dispenser now I started off with two Urban Mechs, the R60 and the R59, both very, very mediocre. Uh, and then I started off with two um, two power armors, one Inner Sphere Standard Power Armor, which is basically like small, like a five ton unit. And the second one I started off with was the one that we spotted in the last episode with the uh, Dragon's Rejects. It was, I can't even pronounce it. Uh, it was the one that uh, took out our striker. Now, um, we had one of those. So I, I wasn't going to use those because, like I said, uh, my, the goal of this was to just be with Urban Max. So I got rid of both of those. Trash them. They're gone. Um, but what we also started off with was these two here. Um, these are Urban Tanks. So it's like an Urban Max strapped to a, a, like it's the Urban Max top strapped to a tank chassis. And they're both 45 tons. One started out, this one's got a large laser and, and a thumper artillery with HE and Inferno ammo. Plenty of ammo for both. Um, the, the Inferno ammo on this thumper is absolutely insane. It's the only reason why we've been able to survive most of the missions that we've played, which is why these urban mechs, this urban mech defense force is only gonna, like it's, the Lance is rated at uh, one skull. So we're only gonna play missions that are like on screen anyway that are a skull higher than us. Now I'll probably play a few in between episodes at a lower skull levels just to generate some C bills so we can keep the keep the group going. But the idea is to see how well this first static defense force that we're, we're what we're calling this unit, the first static defense, um, will do in defense base and defend base missions just on their own. So there's just gonna be urban mechs and these two urban uh, um, urban tanks. The second one's got two LRM-15s and two SRM-4s. They actually move faster than the regular ur urban mechs. It's a little bizarre. But uh, so we're going to just play this out. And this is going to be the unit that um, uh, we're going to use for uh, our main base defenses. Now we still have the vehicles as well. So we'll be those guys will be making a re-emergence later on. Um, I want to play them for a little bit, get some more stuff for them uh, off off camera, and then you know we'll get a uh, a playthrough on camera. All right, let's hit these guys with the PPC. Now remember, these guys are urban mechs, so they're very vulnerable to fire, right? Like vulnerable to like getting hit. So we have to be very very careful with them. But the thing is, is most of these guys, with the exception of the one, this one here. Um, 
are indirect fire with the mortars. So I don't have to like go direct fire at all. I can just hang back and just go indirect the whole time. Moving to position. Which in the, sort of the off camera stuff I've been doing, that's what I've been doing. I've been just, you know, been playing off, like uh, playing indirect fire this way. Now we've got acid ammo on most of these. Which works great um, if you're hit early. So it's used. It's very, very useful for stripping armor. And then you switch over to the uh, the guided or whatever to do more damage. Now we do have a variety of different ammo types. So we've got chaff. Like some, like they're all a little different. This one's acid, flare, and guided. We're gonna go acid again. Gonna put it on him. Um, but we've also got incendiary on one of ours. Uh, Outcast, I think, has got incendiary. Orders. So here's the thumper. Let's move it over here. Position confirmed. But this, the incendiary round on this is so ridiculously stupid. I don't know how many missions I've played where I've just sort of melted down enemy mechs with this thing. Like, you can see the, the fire it creates, right? You don't even need to hit the enemy. All you need to do is constantly bathe their location in fire. You know? And it just... Especially for like older style mechs, like I've played a few missions against Whitworth and Clint's and things like that. And those mechs, sorry, there was one mission I played that had two swordsmen, two Whitworths, and four vehicles. And all four of the mechs died because they shut down. They shut down and then we just killed them, right? So it's just a matter of like figuring out what's going to work the best with the these move. guys and if you're playing like that that wasn't a defense mission that was we were attacking them right um let's go after that's a planesman right missiles how much armor does this thing have now it's got a lot in the front but not much on the sides in the back let's just go ahead and open up on this guy oh you got ams so i mean the idea is to tr just you know Stay behind stuff. Don't let them shoot you right away. And just flood them with, with fire like this. And just use the mortars. Now, we've got about 15 turns of fire on the mortars. So you can't let it go too long. And the pilots that we've got here... I'm just saying that these pilots are... Um, Confirmed. A wide variety of pilots that we picked up from the Eastern Warlord... Or, sorry, the Western Warlords. Uh, and the Warlord that we took out when we first landed. We've got Flare, we've got Guided, Air Burst on this guy. We, I'm missing Acid on this guy. So let's just go with air, let's go with Flare. We'll illuminate the area around here. But the indirect fire, like... Oh, they got an Irby too. Looks, we, know what, we know what parts we're taking. R69? Ballistic 2 energy, eh? Ballistic is dead. Just yeah, weird. This is like a 4 skull. I don't know why the ballistic would be not functioning. Uh, let's get into here. Oh yeah, this urban mech here too. I've uh, put a better engine in it. So you can see it's got like ridiculous speed. This is the fastest <laughs> This is the fastest vehicle we have for this, this playthrough is this urban mech. Now I do have a cloud buster uh, vehicle as well that I picked up in the playthrough. Um... But I'm not using it in this fight just because of, uh, we don't, uh, we are, I'm trying to stay indirect. We don't really need the large lasers, the two large lasers for this. Um, do we want to go bolt on rocket and try and kill his planesman? He's still got lots of armor. I don't know if we can kill him. That's actually not a bad shot on this guy though. He's taking a good shot in the shoulder. Let's just fire at him. Nope. again. Better not. So our main uh, commander for this is, is a pilot called Turnaround, which I didn't rename her. That's exactly what it was when I when I uh, started the playthrough. It's the exact image. The ex everything is exact. Um, the only thing I did take for her, yes, um, I started her off, off as, I think she was a Merrick um, pilot beforehand. So she started off with plus two tactics, 
Wait, who's who here? Boss scout. Wait, what? Why do they have five guys? Okay. They are assaulting the base. Let's back up over here. Or move over here. What was I saying? Uh, let's just go without the remote sensor. I'm gonna drop some more acid on this guy. Soften him up a bit. Oh yeah, so the, the uh, command pilot. Yeah, so I made her a Merrick and then um, I think it was soldier, a soldier or something like that. So, I mean, I could have chosen another mech at the start or any of that stuff or more money, but I, I chose to take, um, like, oh, it was Solar Solaris Gladiator, I think is what I made her because it gave her um, a bunch of advanced gear because I knew I'd be changing um, a lot of the loadouts on the urban mechs. But strangely enough, I haven't. The only thing I changed was... Um, the R60 that we had, that has been killed, um, it started off with the AC-10. I took that off and put a mortar on it. The mortars have actually been working, like they don't seem like they do a lot of damage, but if you're not being shot at, they're not shooting back at you, they can be devastating. And on these base defense missions, they've been working really, really well. Alright. Got some turrets up now. So we've got, what do we got here? Goss emplacement. Thumper artillery emplacement. We've got to stay away from that guy. Another Goss emplacement. Holy crap, we've we kind of lucked out with our emplacements here. Where's the last one? One, two, three. It's normally over here, but... maybe. Oh, it's right here. Quad gun. Wow. Heavy rotary AC2. Wow, we got some good defenders. Good to go. See what they didn't get very many attackers. All right, let's move over here. Now this, the HE rounds in this aren't that bad either, but definitely go with the Inferno at first. Um, simply because it's just like lighting the fires. It just gives them nowhere to move. Like they, they, they just they can't go anywhere without actually being caught on fire. Okay, move over here. Uh, let's switch it up. I'm gonna go to guided. So the acid ammo works great. Oh, another pilot hit. Beautiful. Um, the acid ammo works great to strip armor because it does 50% damage, more damage to armor. But then once you've Confirmed. once you've got open internal structure structure and stuff just switch to guided because it'll do more damage against the uh, the mech again well, if we get this torso we might get lucky Firing on target. nope I think I hit something good. but then the yeah like the guided will just do more damage than the uh, acid will because the acid does half damage to internal structure So I played a match. Ooh, we'll see you later. I played a match inadvertently against the clans. It was a one skull against the clans. Standing by. And um Okay, let's get over here. Uh we actually won that battle, strangely enough. They had fifteen guys and we still won. Just because of the fire. The fires just overheated them continuously. Now do I want to use the rockets and hopefully get a lucky shot. We, we, we might get a knockdown. If we get a knockdown, this guy's unconscious. So I'm going to fire the rockets right now. Or if we get the torso destroyed, you should... Yep, he's gone. Pilot incapacitated. Beautiful. Short -range missiles are out. That's okay. You did your job. You did your job. We got two down now. But they get their reinforcements right after this. And by the way, I just want to applaud, once again, the Road Tech creators. Because when the reinforcements arrive, the first set of reinforcements arrive with the units that are here right now. So they don't just randomly spawn somewhere else. They're like, they actually spawn with these guys. 
like right behind them. And then there's a random dropship that comes in and drops another unit someplace. And it's random. It's completely random. You can't guess where they're going to come from, right? So you really got to be on your toes. Like, so you know one group's going to be with these guys. So you're facing an, a whole nother uh, unit of guys on top of this. Um, I don't think we need this. Let's just drop the uh, acid on. Yeah, I see the 12s, 12 damage. Normally it does 8 damage per uh, mortar round, but it'll yep. do 12 with the uh, with the acid on it. Let's get over here so we can see them. Got it. Now we don't have to see these guys, but if they're not going to shoot back, you know, just get to a point where you can actually see them. I don't have acid on this guy. Um, let's just go airburst. I haven't actually used airburst yet. Locked on. Ah, oh, that was what it was. Okay. Critical hit, Commander. Nice. Good chance to get him to lose, um, like, take stability and then get random damage everywhere, right? Plus, if they're grouped up, What's up boss? that's another good, good, uh, good time to use it. Heading out. Anyway, I'm having a lot of fun with these mortars. I, I never thought much of the mortars. So this guy's got a lot of damage on his side. We're going to be hitting his side, so we use regular guided ammo. I never thought much of the mortars, you know, and I think by themselves, if you had a mortar by itself, like just one of them, um, Waiting for orders. I'm not convinced it would be a uh, a good thing to use. I, I, I think you need to group the mortars up. I think, actually, you know what, the turrets are probably going to kill this guy. I think you're better off, what does this guy got? All his weapons are out? Small Pulse Ultra 10. Well, let's fire on this guy. Target Soften him up a bit. Maybe we can get him to turn so the Ultra's not facing us. And then we can burn through his side and kill him. Be nice to pick up an Ultra 10 for one of my Urban Max. Oh, that guy's gone. But yeah, I'm, I'm not convinced the mortar by itself is worthwhile. I think you need to have multiple. Firing on target. Nice. Burn, you bastard. Because I'm finding... Up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Of course it is. I'm finding that the unit as I've got it built here, so far, uh, is actually... Did they land right on the base? Is actually working out quite well. I think they did. No. Just below the base on the other side. Okay. And if you're just doing defend, if you if you like just like to doing kind of defense missions or whatever, um, Tell me what you need. the unit isn't that bad. So what do we got down here? A galleon, mongoose, really? Okay, Clint, javelin, R60. Well, at least we have a chance to get some more urban mech parts. Now, what else do we have out here? Yeah, see how these guys spawned behind where the other guys were? Got a wasp. Wolverine, ooh, okay. Dervish, Cattle Master, and a Blackjack. Oh, I think old is all, always for old and a Blackjack. Could be the Omni, I don't know. I think it's the old version. Alright, let's get on this guy. I got on a mine dispenser, but... Nice. I'm waiting for them to uh, bunch up a little bit more. They've got six down here. How do they have... Oh, but they... they do they land with two vehicles as well? That's kind of cool. Yeah, but the Irby playthrough, it's if you want to just stick with Urban Max, it's 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 a tough go. I gotta say because you can't you can't do. I mean, you you can kind of do escort missions, but because the Urban Max are only moving two or three hexes at a time. You really need to find a, uh, those missions where you're going to be sitting stationary and the enemy is going to be coming to you. Like as I mentioned, I think it was the last episode of the one before, I played an assassinate mission and I swear to God I spent half an hour in real time trying to find the, the main mech because it was a stealth commando and the map is relatively large. So I spent forever calming this damn map trying to find this guy after I wiped out his, his uh, vanguard. So you, you need to have extreme amount of patience 
Um, battles where you're defending like this are fantastic for this this kind of playthrough. But this isn't the kind of thing I would do. Like if I was yes, starting Rogue Tech, I would not be doing this this playthrough with the uh, Urban Max because it's not an, like I said, it's not an easy thing to do. All right, we want salvage from you, but I don't want to be. I gotta figure out what the main threat is here. We got a dervish down here. The Clint could be a threat. AC5, two medium lasers, lasers, the urban mech, two missile, ballistic and energy. The pack rat, no. The galleon, no. The javelin, LRM15. That could, I mean, he's gonna be shooting indirect most of the time. The wolverine is probably the threat. Dervish maybe even too. Two LRM two, tens, two SRM twos. AC five medium lights. Not that but he's got a lot of armor though, that guy. This guy's got four eleven, eh? Oh, so he doesn't. So this is like a really old it's the old dervish. That's why he's got reduced armor. He's got the uh obsolete armor. Uh okay, let's go um I'm trying to think now for salvage what the best what thing would be because it doesn't appear to be anything that's like amazing here. And I can't use mech parts. I'm just thinking component wise. The mongoose might have some good components. 22%. Commander. Beep, Ida. And the fact that Urban Max can fire in a 360 degree arc makes them perfect for base defense missions. I really should take a ton of acid ammo off this guy and move it over to the uh, other uh, one that doesn't have it. I still have some tweaks to do on these guys. But we found a few good components that uh, really helped them out. Uh, let's not get where these guys can see us. Copy that. Well, like I said, this is just really an indirect playthrough, right? You know? And I'm not going to be running these guys all that often. Let's fire the air burst on these guys. See if we can collateral damage them. Yeah, that's nice. That's a good spread. So I won't be playing these guys, like, all the time. Just every once in a while we'll do, like, a, like a really tough base defense. I was hoping this one would be a lot tougher. But we'll do a really tough base defense mission. Target the center guy, fire the Inferno. Doesn't do a lot of damage, unless you hit somebody directly. Ooh, that's nice. See ya. He bailed. Like if you, yeah, there he goes. He turns the other side to me now. Maybe I can blow through it and kill him. Ready for orders. Alright, let's move you forward. How far forward can you go? Not very far. Flames in the way. Wait, where are you? Oh, you're sitting in the flames. Do we take flame damage if we don't move out of the flames? I'm assuming so. We'll find out here. I'm not going to move. I'm just going to stay here. We'll see if we take any damage if I don't move. Engaging target. So it's really the ultra I want off this guy here. But once I get, once I start getting better gear for these guys too, um, I'm still gonna be doing base de defense missions with these guys. That's why they're they're called the uh, first static defense. So every once in a while we'll do a crazy base uh, base defense mission against like tougher opponents. I was I was hoping the two skull was gonna be really tough for these guys, but loud and clear. unless these unless the enemy somehow somehow pushes up the hill in force, um, they're really not gonna. Uh, Take this base down. I've yet to come close to an enemy taking a base down. That's a miss. The AI just doesn't think in terms of how it's going to pull the base down. Like if these, if they just, if all these guys did was shoot at the base, they could easily wipe it out. Let's go on this guy. He's trying to flank. 
All right, a little bit more damage. AC2 ammo depleted. But you can see how this would be like severe issues against, you know, assault mechs. Without amazing turrets, there's just no way you can run an urban mech uh, defense force. Unless you had amazing vehicles with them, right? Yeah, I knew that guy was going to be a problem. All right, let's think salvage first. Let's go after this guy. Well, this is the airburst guy. Let's not airburst him. Let's airburst. Um, let's go here. Maybe we'll hit the guys around him. Yeah, spread the damage a little bit. Not bad. Hopefully he'll start shooting at us more than they will at the buildings. Because you really can't take on a unit in direct fire mode. It's just not possible. The way we defeated the two swordsmen, the two Whitworths, and the vehicles was basically staying behind a hill. And just staying at range and firing at them at range. Overheating them and then moving out and wiping them out. That's all we could do. We took a lot of damage too, though, like the L like LRMs Waiting for orders. from both the swordsmen and the, uh, over here. And the, the um, the Whitworths really took their toll on us. Okay, same thing, acid. Roger. Nice damage. Target's taken a critical hit. So as you can see, the Order. mortars are kind of okay. But they're not really... You know, a hard-hitting weapon. Line. Nice, swarm these guys up down here. Commander. So have I taken damage here? I did take a bit from sitting in the flames. Okay. Flames should be gone anyway after this, so... Let's fire on this guy. Locking on target. I think I hit something good. I think you did too. Anyway, if you like variety, variety of playthroughs, feel free to go ahead. I mean, I'm just giving you a warning about the Urban Max. It's like, it's not for everybody. You know? You have to accept the fact you're not going to be brawling. You know, if you're going all Urbies. If you're just starting off with Urbies and switching it up to something else, then great. But then, why play Urbies? Ooh. These turrets, man. If we didn't have these turrets, we'd be like dead. Like hardcore dead. This is tier 2 as well, so... Or 2 skull. I'm interested to see what the higher ones are going to be. I want to get these guys into a position where I can kind of get them to 3.5 or so, so we're facing some heavy mechs. Uh, I don't want to expose... Where'd the mongoose go? Oh, he's right there. Okay. Um, so that Irby is still functional over there. So... He's missing his... Oh, his weapon's gone too? Maybe he lost his ammo. Taking the shot. Crap. My shot went wide. Hey, your shot did go wide. Commander. Let's get on this guy. Firing on target. Don't need sensors. I know where he is. Solid connection, that one. Yeah, like if these guys just decided to go for the base, it would be over in, in an instant. But a lot of them spend time shooting the two vehicles. So if you can keep the two vehicles alive, you know, target guys that are targeting them. 
you're good. And if you get good turrets, you know, all the better. Oh yeah, baby, thanks for the salvage. Thank you for the salvage. So in this playthrough, any mech parts that I get, the only mech parts I'm allowed to keep are urban mechs. And I trash everything else. And the vehicle parts, any vehicle parts I get, I, I'll, I can keep. So the vehicle parts are open for business, but mech parts, urban mechs only. Like I said, it's definitely interesting. But I don't know, I, I don't think I could say I don't think I could sustain myself on it like a full playthrough with these guys. It'd be tough to do. I'm still hoping that I can pick up a missile urban mech. Because none of these mechs have missile hardpoints. They're all the ballistic, except with the exception of the one that's the laser hardpoint one. That Wolverine's got really close. Don't like that idea. Yes, Commander. So there's the wasp. Oh, Wolverine's not that close. And he has taken a bunch of damage already. So, what do we got down here? Where's the Clint? He's right here. Pack rat. Mongoose has flipped his side, so I don't want to shoot him. Let's fire at the R60. All right, not bad. Aye, aye. Same idea, R60. Uh, let's go airburst. Well, that wasn't too bad. Yes, Commander. Okay. Um, if we want art, well, you know what? What turn are we at? We're on round six. We've got three more after this, uh, four more after this one. Right, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's get up over here. Get out of fire. This vehicle is actually pretty good if you can get a direct line of sight on somebody. It actually does really well because it's got the SRM4s as well, right? Galleon. Not worried about the Galleon. That's the Wasp. Wolverine, not so good. Not so good, not so good. Those guys aren't really shooting right now. Let's, uh, Clint maybe? Pack rat, it's got the SRM-6. Mongoose, actually he slipped his side back now. Let's fire on the Mongoose. You really want to think about what side you're shooting on your enemies too because you can't afford to splash damage all over them. You really need to focus and like burn through sides of mechs if you can, because you're not doing, you're doing a hell of a lot of splash damage, right? Standing by. And it's just not going to work out. Um, Engaging. It just won't work out unless you can um, really focus down the one side of a vehicle or mech or have really good turrets too that can take out everything for you. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I'm so glad we have good good turrets. Yes, I hear you. Do you? Do you hear me? Okay, where is the mongoose? There's the mongoose right there. So let's get up in the trees. Not that tree. Like right here. I'm gonna shoot at this mongoose. I'm moving. I finally try and flank this way. But this guy's not going anywhere. If you had any sense, you'd retreat. <laughs> He's just thinking, it's just a bunch of urban mechs. How bad could it really be? <laughs> it's too bad I can't uh, in, like disguise all of these turrets as urban mechs as well. That urban mech's got a gas rifle. It's going to be tricky moving forward too, like Orders. we really got to decide if we're going to go direct fire or indirect fire on the enemy, right? Um, do we try and kill this guy? 
He's got his other side facing us now, so it's not really worth it. Gonna shoot on the Clint, hopefully get him distracted a bit. Oh, he's got a massive CT hit. Yeah, we're like super lucky with these turrets. I can't get over how lucky I got with these turrets. Alright, what do we want to fire on? I think the Clint as well. You got, you got air burst. What else do you have? Flare and guided. Let's go with guided. Really got to get you some acid. They might get lucky and pull a building down if they really focus it, but they've only got three more turns after this, so... Alright, there's that Irby back there. Sorry, there's the spare parts mech that we need. Oof. That's tough to hit. Is it because where I'm standing, maybe? Moving to position. Fifty six. Screw it, let's just fire everything and see what happens. Alright, that's not bad damage. I'm out of short range missiles. We won't get a chance to do that again, because, you know, our <laughs> our weapon packs are gone, but Yeah, see they're shooting at the prowler, right? Like it's I know they're shooting at base defenses, not one of them have really targeted turret yet. But if they were targeting the base, we'd be screwed. Or there wouldn't be anything we could do about it. Who's that? Oh, that was the wasp. Okay. I mean, I guess you could do it, like... If you could get, like, an LRM version, or a missile version, put some LRMs and do Thunder ammo and Hydra ammo. Because the mines are kind of, like, not that bad now. Now, uh, you obviously couldn't do it against heavy and assault mechs, because it just, you wouldn't be able to do enough damage to them to pull them down. But, you know, mediums and like the lighter heavies, like 60 tonners and stuff, you might be able to get away with it. You know? If I can find some fast scam mortar rounds, maybe? I don't know. Uh, it's like, it's really tricky. I got a Thunderbolt. I picked up a Thunderbolt 15 and a couple tons of ammo too, but I can't use it yet. Ready for orders. My goal was to try and replace these, like the two, uh, Urban like urban tanks. Um. Sure. Waiting for orders. Alright, do we have a direct line of sight to somebody? That's the Clint. Perfect. Moving to position. Should be an SRM range. Yep. Yeah, see if you can get a direct line of sight on somebody, it's like it. good damage. See ya. Hostile eliminated. That was lucky. Like, very lucky. Oh <laughs> these turrets! These freaking turrets! I could just not even shoot! Standing by. If ammo conservation was a thing in this game, I just wouldn't even be shooting. Like, just shoot, like shoot at the uh, odd straggler, right? Or the one that you wanted to keep the parts from, but why bother shooting at anything else? I'll make it happen. Try the minefields. SRMs are out.
So we'll see what kind of damage it does to his legs here. 12. So not too bad. Like, and that's just a one-shot mine dispenser, right? 12 damage. So if you had, like, multiple mine layers, like, if you had, like, five mine dispensers or something, you know, like, the point... What, what are they? Like, one ton or 0.5 ton mine dispensers or whatever? Single shot? And you just put them in all your, uh... All your free um, support hard points, and just fart them all off. You know, when you get a big group of mechs, you could do you know half decent damage, or just layer it. Like have one fire, it. have one fire it. Is he facing? Okay, good. He's facing the way I want him to. Let's use this as well. Fire. You know, you could do significant damage to somebody over time. Reporting critical hit. It just, it just no SRMs remaining. makes you, it forces you to into a different mindset, I find, this playthrough. Because this is not how I normally like to play. I like to Ready for have an open open battlefield, you know? Uh, let's switch this up to guided. Acknowledged. There you go. So I'm interested to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Just drop whatever you think. Like, I, I want to try and get a wide variety of herbies. Like, the ones that I have, I got three of the same one right now, and it's like, kind of a boring... That's the Dervish, right? 16%? Wasp, 55. 19 on him. I can't target that guy. Now, we got the Irby down here, didn't we? No, we didn't. He's still right here. We gotta get him before we finish here. Actually, can I get the sticky bomb? I got a narc launcher with a sticky bomb and I wanted to just try it out. I don't think it's like it says it does five damage. And if that's actually the case. Ammo ten, damage four. So I don't know if it explodes and then destabilizes something, or might as well fire these two. Oh, it's an explosive pod. Solid connection on that. So I guess it lands on the ground are out. and then goes off for a, at the end of the round for a couple of points damage. Good to go. Kind of weird. Uh, switch to the HE. It doesn't really matter what we use in these guys. Like, I find HE is like... Unless you can actually hit somebody directly on, it's just really a waste of a round. Receiving you. Um... Thirteen percent, huh? Well, if we get one hit in the side. Rear armor it is. There you go. Take that, you little bastard. I gotta say though, I know I know I've said it before, but I really am enjoying the variances now with Rogue Tech, how they vary um you know, the, the battles seem far more varied now, and even though the, the landscape is the same, you can choose where you drop, so like, you just switch up the, the perspective, and yeah, it's the same Tell me what you need. area, the same ground, the same whatever, but the, the fact that it's like, you're looking at it from a different angle makes it seem different, you know? It's kind of nicely done that way. Alright, we can't really go after that guy. Let's just go after this guy. Christ, we may kill them all. We're on round nine, so we've got this one and the next one, so. Discharging weapons. Have a seat, buddy. Pierced. You better pray. You better pray. 
Alright, switching targets. Gotta go after that guy now. Yes, Commander. You know who we need. Um... Now we don't have acid, unfortunately. Let's just go guide it. It's a better chance to hit. Inflicted some heavy damage. I'm finally getting payback on all from all those times when I've been mortared. You know, mortared to death. Receiving you. And going, oh shoot, my AMS doesn't work on these guys and this and that and the other thing. Drop acid on this guy. Drop some acid. Copy that. Nope. Nice that it does splash, you know, for a couple points here and there. So even if you miss, you just you're doing a few points overall as armor. Receiving you. Now you don't have. Oh, you do. Okay. I knew I had a multi-target thing and I, I didn't know who I was going to put it on, so I just put it on this guy. Narc launcher on B, <laughs> mortar to A. It seems ridiculous, right? But if I can shoot at a secondary target with my weapons, I might as well, right? Here comes the narc bomb. Yeah, baby. <laughs> it's going to go off on him for a few points of damage at the end of the turn. Now, I don't know... If it just goes off on the location it hits, or what it is. Good to go. But it's funny as hell no matter what, right? Let's get out of the flames. Uh, can we get a direct line of sight on anybody over there? Just the guy on the ground? I don't want them, though. I want the guys over there. The guy on the ground is going to get horribly murdered anyway, so I'm not worried about it. Where is... There's the Wolverine. Ooh, point nine, eh? Wasp. Wow. Well, you it is. Hopefully you get killed by that pod, because it'll Solid totally be worth it. One. Death by sticky bomb. No. Oh well. Wouldn't let me have it, eh? All right. Oh, he's got a pair of AC-5s, okay. They've almost taken him down one building. Ooh, nice shots. Orders. Critical hit. Oof. Yeah, don't totally destroy that ever mech. I need the parts. Oh, he's in the flames. Orders. Get the sensors on him. Wait, do you have illuminated? I got air burst. Let's go with the air burst. Air burst. Probably better chance to hit him or something. No. Did the sensors hit? I don't think so. Oh well. He's hiding. It's the last round, so if we don't kill that urban mech, we're not gonna get the parts. Well, with this playthrough, this particular playthrough, I need five parts, so... Gotta make sure we, uh, get as many as we can from these guys. Alright, we got one hit. Whew. Got a few mechs left. All right, beef eater. Waiting for orders. On it. 
Alright, let's see if we can get this guy here. Do I want to go acid or do I want to go... Let's go with guided. Engaging with targets. That's the other thing too, the mortars you gotta be careful because yeah. if you're close to the enemy and using things like acid or whatever, it can splash onto your own mech. So you gotta be wary of that. Wow, really, eh? I could, uh... Get a little closer, see if it makes a difference, but I doubt it. Well, 8.5. Patchwork's destroyed. Reporting critical hit. AC2 ammo gone. Uh, we still have our two tanks. We got a large laser on the uh, the first one with the thumper. Kind of a nice backup weapon for that thing, but I mean, it's got 40 turns of firing the thumper, so I've been trying to avoid just like using the large laser unless I absolutely have to. Like, we're gonna use it now because I want to try and kill this guy. Alright, direct fire mode. Oh, we're inside the uh, range. Shoot. Yeah, well, I can't use it. No worries. Acknowledged. Oh, nice, he hit, though. That looked like a groin shot. So we still got our SRMs and LRMs on the other urban tank. And I think we've got one other urban mech left, and that's it. Yeah, they're not going to kill the building. Ready for orders. That's full speed, eh? Shoot. 5.4. Well... I don't know if it's going to be any better. Point 0.9. Well, maybe not. I just got AMS? Missed. Damn, man. I should have been focused firing that guy from the beginning. Ooh. You are in pain. That's it, folks. Mission successful. Yeah, I didn't think too much about that urban mech from the beginning. I should have thought about it more often. I mean, he had a, f a bunch of support hard points and stuff. I just, I thought it was like another one of those, you know, fluid guys or whatever. All right, we got lots of chances here for uh, some stuff. I'm gonna take the three urban mech parts because I have to. AMS is one thing we don't have. Is there any ammo down here? No AMS ammo, eh? Ultra 10 ammo. Oh yeah, is that Ultra 10 here? It is. Now we don't have, no we don't. Don't have any extra Ultra 10 ammo, but that's fine. AC5 ammo, I know we don't have, but I think we have an AC5 kicking around. I might want to take that. Uh, searchlight. Oh, that's another thing. That's a nice little thing. Fog of War stays revealed around the unit. But we don't really have a scout, so it's not really like... I want the Pharaoh. Probably. Ballistic accuracy. No, I'll take the ballistic <laughs> accuracy. Thanks. Thanks so much. Fire control system. Yeah. Still dealing, I mean, the, the pilots in this aren't that bad. I've been able to level them up a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll go that route. Take that. Um, so they're really not that bad. Okay, what do we not need here? We don't need the regular armors. Vigo probe we keep, the 120 core. Uh, it's kind of push. we got one of them already, so we'll sell it. The 160 we're never going to need. The jump jets, we've got lots already. Structure. It makes it easy to choose what you want. We've got the AC5 ammo. Nice. Makes it easy to choose what you want if you know you're only going to be running with uh, urban mechs. The choices are just so simple. Like, you don't... 
I just all the other Mac parts I'm going to sell the vehicle parts I keep and then anything that'll fit under Urban Mac you keep that's it all right that's it so let's have a look at the Mech Bay real quick so we didn't take any damage like honestly so the mechs aren't that bad at all like I said I picked up a few pieces of clan gear because I did do that base defense against a clan unit I didn't realize it was a clan unit until after I started it and I thought okay we're I'm gonna die but I didn't it ended up being good so uh, we have a double heat sink kit four double heat sinks in here mine dispenser PPC paramedium lasers remote sensor dispenser so range finder clan sensors fire control system energy accuracy so it's actually not that bad you know advanced zoom on this thing so the the chance for this thing to hit is actually fairly good and then um, the other ones they're pretty much all the same it's actually this guy that I want to refit so I've been trying to refit them with endo and ferro on all of them I don't have ferro for everything yet but uh, I got another one now so and then ammo so we've been able to upgrade the small laser to a medium uh, max out the armor this guy's got fire control system uh, energy accuracy only because I had nothing else to throw in here but now I can take that out because now we have that uh, ballistic one there it is drop that in um, so, so we picked up a few advanced things like at the start like so this fire control system advanced um, we've got the hard gel uh, I can't remember if it was the beagle probe that we got at the beginning with the mask we got we got a few things at the beginning uh, most of them I didn't want to use um, like this guy here because the, the it's not bad for plus one um, offensive push accuracy but the problem is is that um, oh I didn't know it was minus 20 percent multiplier to jam chance now that's kind of actually good but we're not gonna be doing any called shots on any of the guys that I was using so there's no point of putting it in, in on anybody because we don't even have the way to add on tactical computer pieces so it's just kind of a waste but I'm keeping it just in case but it's just kind of sitting there you know um, so we want to pull out the mortar acid ammo because I want to change that over to one of the other mechs so we're just going to do this for now uh, but yeah so like I said the, the mechs are pretty much all the same um, and then oops not storage we want to go to there we go so the urban tank thumper artillery it's actually not that bad like the armor is actually pretty good right it's decent same as this guy a little bit more but you know it's still decent uh, we've got the cloud buster as well it's got decent armor power large lasers and media machine guns so I mean if you're doing base defense and you have extra defenders with you great if you if you play this and you have extra defenders if you have got that as a selection then that's gonna help too but for the most part um, unless you're really doing base defense missions or just a straight-up battle it's tough to get these guys to like it just the movement's so slow right so uh, but yeah I'm gonna leave this episode here um, if you did like it please drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below so until next time we'll see you later